literally due to leave for Copenhagen in like 10 minutes but I can't find my wallet anywhere I'm stressed and I need my wallet because it has ID in it and my card and oh, where is it oh my god I've looked through all the jackets that I've worn over the week and it's nowhere to be seen and I can't believe I'm vlogging this like I have time to be oh my god everything's dropping it it's all a mess I'm trying to like retrace the bags that I used over the week and I looked in all my bags and my wallet is not there and now I have to look through coats but I've looked through most of my coats I don't know where it could be oh, guys this isn't a good start to my girls trip I found it it was in one of my jackets that I was wearing yesterday the happy days okay now I'm ready for Copenhagen <gasps> it's Rosie Sorry. <laughs> she hasn't been watching my vlogs and I'm so sad <laughs> what supportive friend are you Rosie no I'm joking I'll just binge watch them <laughs> we made it on the flight okay so let me show you my airport snacks we have skittles my airplane snacks not airport I got a coca-cola from the lounge water to stay hydrated crisps chewing gum peppermint tea so random but you have to have snacks when on the airplane I'm literally balancing this off the back of the seat woke up in Copenhagen and look at our view it's insane look how scandy those colorful houses are and then here you can see it's like a Christmas market so I think we're gonna go and check that out later and it's blue skies and this is my outfit oh and with the bag as well it's really cute Honestly, have every single bag under the sun. It's insane. Guys, I think I'm gonna buy a bag. <laughs> All the ceramics that we wanna buy. Whoa. You have to be careful with these glasses that they don't um, fade in the dishwasher. How cool. Yeah. Yeah, I need some bowls. What are these? I put salt, pepper, chili, and um, mixed herbs in this. Look at the mugs. Oh my God, this is my little dream. We are at a museum called the Louisiana Museum, and we're just gonna have a look around, see what there is on display. Looks very cool here. It's literally my test sheets when I started modelling. <laughs> <laughs> I got on camera. That is Homer Simpson for sure. The sunset is crazy, so we have to step out of the museum to have a look. <laughs> my children! <laughs> so funny, random! <laughs>
good. I had like a burrata and puttanesca with bread and whipped butter and it was insane. And the people next to us like, you have to try the pancakes. So we tried the pancakes as well and we are so full. Um, now we're just gonna wander around some shops. It's a Sunday, so we're hoping that shops are open because I know that shops open really, really late here. So let's see. We're already in a shop having a look around. Um, but yeah, it is amazing here. There's honestly just so much to see. And the vibe here is nothing like London. Like, it's so Scandi, it's so cute. London definitely needs some inspiration from Copenhagen because this is so wild. Look how much color there is everywhere. This is like one of my favorite little furniture stores. They have so many cute, colorful things. My salt and pepper grinders are actually from here and they just have such good towels and bathroom things. Look, these are too cute. It's dark blue, like a stripe. And then we have off-white Duvet covers, I love some Christmas decoration shopping. <laughs> You're gonna break them? Never! <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go through with you guys what I got here in Copenhagen. So you saw that we were at the collector's cage and I got myself something that I've wanted for such a long time and I finally found the perfect one. And I got myself a new weekend bag which has actually come in so handy for this trip because I can put things in here when I go home for the plane. Isn't it so nice? I like how it's like very worn, which gives like a bit of a vintage effect. It's so cute. I am obsessed. I think this could look cool with like a little Ralph Lauren inspired outfit for our weekends away. So happy. <laughs> In my second name. So, uh, the Celtus that I told you, that is a fried in a rice tempura, and then oh. the avocado as well. And you have the size to make your own tacos here. So fresh corn tortillas here in the basket. Oh, wow. uh, just for the pickled jalapenos, try to spread the guacamole. So small. Take three. We're here at Poulette trying one of the craziest chicken sandwiches. Um, we're super excited. We got two chicken sandwiches, one spicy, one normal, I hope, and uh, fries with spicy mayo. <laughs> and there's pickles in the chicken sandwich and I love pickles in my chicken burger. And I'm just really, really excited for this. But it's like Christmas. <gasps> Look at that, guys. Holy crap. Oh my god. Maybe one of the best chicken burgers I've ever been mm. into. Oh, the bread is just perfect. The bread is perfect and succulent and the chicken is just so, so juicy. And that is our Copenhagen trip come to an end. So now we're just packing and we're going to make our way to the airport. But honestly, guys, that burger I just had was one of the best chicken burgers I have eaten in my entire life. The cheese was insane, the pickles was insane, the chicken was insane, the bread was insane, everything was insane. A very highly rated 9.5 out of 10 for me. And just like that, I am home. Ah, it's actually so nice to be home because I have been greeted by blue skies this morning and you rarely get that in London. 
honestly, we had the best girls weekend ever. I've woken up this morning and I just felt like, oh my God, I totally needed that. It was just a whole week weekend full of laughter. We were eating, shopping, we had glasses of wine. It was just everything I needed because um, when I'm in London, I don't really tend to drink and I don't go out. But just to give yourself a weekend with your girls, to just have fun and let go is so important. And now I feel like relieved of my energy, um, like my wild energy. I mean, I didn't get like crazy drunk or anything, but it was just so nice to be with my girls and just having fun. <sighs> and now I'm like, I'm back to London and I'm straight into work. I have such a busy day today. Oh. And I'm just so tired because when I'm in London, I go to bed at like 8.30, 9pm, which is crazy. And when I was in Copenhagen, I'd say like the latest we went to bed was like 12am. But even that for me, I'm like such a baby. Um, it's a struggle. So I'm going to be catching up on sleep within the next few days for sure. Oh, oh, Copenhagen is such a beautiful city. I'm sorry I didn't like do much speaking in my vlogs because I was so present in the moment with my friends. Like I just didn't want to like ruin my, not ruin moments, but I just didn't want to interfere in moments by whipping out my vlog. Cause it does create like a, I don't know. I just, it's so important to like not worry about taking pictures all the time. Like I took pictures on my film camera. I didn't whip out my phone. And even like me and Bash, we didn't text much over the weekend because he just wanted me to be with my friends. And he didn't want to see like what I was up to because he knows that he was gonna um, catch up with me when I got home. Honestly, if you go, if you, girls and guys, everyone needs like a weekend with their friends. So don't lose that the older you get. I would definitely give that as a piece of advice. We were saying, oh my God, guys, we need to do this more often. And you definitely do. It's so important. Ah, the food was insane. I would say that my favorite meal was probably when we went to a restaurant called Sanchez, which was apparently on chef's table, I believe, or the owner of Sanchez. She was a chef at Noma, which was one of, the restaurants covered on chef table. Anyway, the food was insane. It was like Mexican food I'd never had before. It kind of had a twist on it. It wasn't your traditional Mexican cuisine. And it was just really, really beautiful. The way it was all presented, it was so good. And it was so hearty. We ate our hearts out. And the taco bread that they gave us was insane it was like made out of corn and corn um is it tortilla bread i don't know if I'm, that is the right term but anyway it was just oh, it was out of this world i had endless amounts of coffees i had coffees every morning and when you're in like a place like copenhagen having a coffee is so cozy it was very festive as well like there were just christmas lights absolutely everywhere so if guys if you want a festive trip away I'd highly recommend going to Copenhagen. Also shopping there is, I got my um, Louis Vuitton weekend bag, which I had wanted for such a long time. And when we walked into this vintage shop, vintage bag shop, I was like, ah, this is the time, this feels right. And it was Black Friday as well. So I got like a little percentage off. Well, Black Friday weekend. So I got a little percentage off and it was just perfect. I love a bargain. But yeah, honestly, I as you can see by my smiles, I had such a good time. And now I'm gonna push through work today and I'm off again tomorrow to Vienna with Miu Miu. Can you believe my life right now? And then we get back, we're, in, we're there for literally 24 hours. So we arrive in Vienna around 12 p.m. And then and we leave the next day at 7 a.m. And then I have like three hours to repack. And then I'm going to Norway to see family. Oh my goodness. This is like the time I've been dreading. But I know when I get to all the locations that I need to be at, it's going to be really nice. Like Norway is just family, so that will be chill. 
I'm gonna take that as like a few days of just like being healthy, eating well, seeing family, which is good for your soul. And yeah, um, okay, I'm gonna wrap up this part of the vlog because I really, really need to get going to my shoot. We're shooting a few projects at a location we've hired out and it's nice because after this we'll only have like one more job to do and then for Christmas I think we will be done. I hope. No, I don't hope because I do love my job. I love working. So we'll see. We'll see. Um, I'll take you guys with me to my shoot. I'm going to go and get dressed properly. I'm in my tracksuit and then we'll jump in the car. The boot is full of things that we're going to shoot. Honestly, I don't know what we're still doing with the smart car. We really need a new car. And I've also got to drop off some things to the post office. It's been a jam-packed morning, but this is what makes my job so exciting, is all the things that we need to do. So I'm gonna drop this off to the post office and then we're gonna drive an hour to the location. But it's okay, it's gonna be very worth it. And I'm back with Vash. I missed him. Yeah, this is the front of the house that we we have rented. It's an old school, but renovated into apartments. It is beautiful. Oh my God. First of all, I have a shoot for Armani and it's for a pair of sunglasses and their jewelry. This is the bangle. And then I have some earrings. I also have a wet watch, but I just need to fit it onto my wrist. And I think we're gonna go very simple with this because the focus is on the jewelry. We don't want too much going on in the background. So we're gonna look, oh yeah, that's a nice space. So here the light's gonna be super nice and I'm just gonna lean on the table there. which is a shoot for Burberry and we're gonna shoot everything on film and then we're gonna do some video on Canon. And look how funky these heels are. Okay, there I look less crazy. I hope you enjoyed some behind the scenes of my shoot today. It went so, so well. I can't wait to see the pictures if the pictures arrive before this vlog goes up, I'm going to attach them here at the end of the video. Guys, thank you so much for watching this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. A little city getaway and a behind the scenes of a content shoot. I'll see you next week for next week's vlog and have a great week. Like, comment and subscribe. And lots of love to all of the lovely comments and likes and subscribers. Bye.